Good day everyone. Let's try to answer some math problem posted on Facebook. And special credits to Master Sokol Agaliu for sharing this wonderful question. And let's start. Here's the question. Evaluate sine of 6 degrees times sine of 42 degrees times sine 66 degrees times sine of 78 degrees. The challenge is we need to evaluate this expression without using calculators. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. And if you're ready, here's the solution. And I hope you pause this video. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. Now, first thing to do is to let this expression be equal to P. Next, recall some identities. Sine of theta must be equal to cosine of 90 minus theta. Therefore, sine 6 degrees is equivalent to cosine of 90 minus 6 or simply 84 degrees. Sine of 42 degrees is equivalent to cosine of 48 degrees. Sine of 66 degrees is equal to cosine of 24 degrees. And the last one, sine of 78 degrees is equal to cosine of 12 degrees. So we can replace sine 6 degrees, sine 42 degrees, sine 66 degrees, and sine 78 degrees with their equivalent value. Therefore, we can say that P equals cosine of 84 degrees times cosine of 48 degrees times cosine of 24 degrees times cosine of 12 degrees. Next thing to do is to multiply both sides by sine of 12 degrees. Next, we need to recall again some identities. Recall that sine of 2 theta equals 2 times cosine theta times sine of angle theta. Next, divide both sides by 2 will give us sine of 2 times theta all over 2 equals cosine theta times sine theta. Now, it follows that the value of cosine 12 degrees times sine 12 degrees is simply sine of 2 times 12 or simply 24 degrees all over 2 using this identity. Therefore, our equation now becomes sine of 12 degrees times P equals 1 half times cosine 84 degrees times cosine 48 degrees times cosine 24 degrees times sine of 24 degrees. Again, using the same identity, cosine of 24 degrees times sine 24 degrees is equal to sine of 48 degrees all over 2. Therefore, our equation becomes 1 fourth times cosine 84 degrees times cosine of 48 degrees times sine of 48 degrees. Again, using the same identity, cosine 48 degrees times sine 48 degrees is equal to sine of 2 times 48 or simply 96 degrees divided by 2. And our equation now becomes 1 8 times cosine 84 degrees times sine of 96 degrees. Now, next thing to do is to clear the fraction. To do that, we need to multiply this equation by 8. If we do that, we get sine 12 degrees times 8p equals cosine 84 degrees times sine 96 degrees. And we know sine of 96 degrees is the same thing as cosine of negative 6. And since cosine function is an even function, therefore cosine of negative 6 is the same thing as cosine of positive 6. Now at this point, we need to recall again some compound identities. So if we have cosine of a plus b, it is equal to cosine a times cosine b minus sine a times sine of b. Also, if we have cosine of a minus b, it is equal to cosine a times cosine b plus sine a times sine b. Now what will happen if we add these two equation? Sine a times sine b will cancel out and will give us cosine of a plus b plus cosine of a minus b must be equal to 
2 times cosine of A times cosine of B. Now, it is similar to our expression right here. So, what we're going to do is to multiply this equation by 2. Therefore, we have sine 12 degrees. This 8P becomes 16P equals 2 times cosine of 84 degrees times cosine of 6 degrees. Now, using this identity on the bottom, we can say that 2 times cosine of 84 degrees times cosine of 6 degrees is equal to cosine of 84 plus 6 plus cosine of 84 minus 6. Now, notice that cosine of 84 plus 6 is the same thing as cosine of 90. And cosine of 90 is simply 0. Therefore, our equation now becomes sine of 12 degrees times 16p equals cosine of 78 degrees because 84 minus 6 will give us 78 degrees. Next thing to do is to divide both sides by sine of 12 degrees. Therefore, we have 16p equals cosine of 78 degrees over sine of 12 degrees. Now, recall that sine of 12 degrees is equal to cosine of 78 degrees. Therefore, the right-hand side is simply equal to 1. Next thing to do is to divide both sides by 16 and we get the value of P which is equal to 1 over 16. Now, recall that the value of P is equal to the expression right here. Sine 6 degrees times sine 42 degrees times sine 66 degrees times sine of 78 degrees. And we get the value of P which is equal to 1 over 16. Therefore, the value of this expression is simply 1 over 16. And we're done.